Hello everybody. Welcome to our midweek service. A moment of silence before we start our service. We meet in the name of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father, but we have turned aside from your way. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your word is a light on our path, but we have walked in the darkness of our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd, leading us to everlasting life, but we have not listened to your voice. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God, who forgive all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. The call it for today. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing that you have made and forgive the sins of all those who are penitent. Create and make in us a new and contrite heart that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may receive from you the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Luke chapter 9, reading from verses 22. The Son of Man must undergo great suffering and be rejected by the elders, chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Then he said to them all, If anyone wants to become my follower, let them deny themselves and take up their cross daily and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake, who save it. For what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Let us pray. May I speak in the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. In light of the impending turn towards Jerusalem, Jesus took the opportunity to instruct his disciples on the meaning of following him. If anyone desires to come after me, let them deny themselves, take up their cross daily and follow me. The motivation of a true disciple can be found in three principles. To deny themselves, take up their cross daily, and follow me. What does it mean to deny ourselves? Well, accepting Jesus in our lives requires not only believing about the truth of his message, but also committing our lives to follow him no matter what. While the cross today seems to have taken on a noble and even popular connotations. It was a brutal means of execution during Jesus' time. For him, it will present shame, anguish, and humiliation. If anyone desires to come after me, let them deny themselves, take up their cross daily, and follow me. What does it mean to take up our cross daily? Jesus laid down a stern requirement for discipleship. We must first say no to ourselves, not simply to pleasures or possessions, 
but self and then take up our cross and follow Christ daily. This means to be identified with him in surrender, suffering and sacrifice. We cannot crucify ourselves. We can only present ourselves to Jesus and let God do the rest. Of course, this kind of life seems foolish to the world, but to the Christian, it is wisdom. To give your life to Christ is to save it and live it in its fullness. Even the richest person on this planet will still be too poor to buy back his own life. For the Christian today, this means understanding that we belong to God and that we live our lives to serve his purpose. If anyone desires to come after me, let them deny themselves, take up their cross day and follow me. What does it mean to follow Jesus Christ? The closest contemporary word for a disciple is probably an apprentice. A disciple is more than a student who learns lessons by means of lectures and books. A disciple is one who learns by living and working with his teacher in a daily hands-on experience. Too many Christians are content to be listeners. They gain a lot of knowledge, but they never put that knowledge into practice. Following Jesus means giving your life to him, becoming part of a Christian community, and having a pattern of daily Bible study and prayers. If anyone desires to come after me, let them deny themselves, take up their cross daily and follow me. Discipleship is a daily discipline. We follow Jesus a step at a time, a day at a time. One of the best things about life is that we can take it a day at a time. Our motive should be to glorify Christ. Friends, the question is, are you willing to deny yourself, take up your cross daily and follow Christ? Amen. Let's respond to the sermon by saying the creed. Do you believe and trust in God the Father, the source of all being and life, the one for whom we exist? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, died for us and rose again? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit? who gives life to the people of God and make Christ known in all the world. We believe and trust in him. This is the faith of the church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we pray for your world and we pray for the nations of the world and leaders of the nations of the world. We pray for all those in government who have the responsibility for deciding and making decisions at this time of global crisis. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We pray for those in hospitals who have the responsibilities for the life of others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We pray for all those who are overwhelmed by the darkness of serious illness, for those who fear that life itself is fading away. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We pray for those who are struggling with loneliness and isolation, who need support and encouragement. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We pray for those who are weighed down with fear and sorrow, who feel that God is far away from them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We pray for those who are tempted to give up the way of the cross in the face of crisis, challenge and adversity. 
Lord, strengthen them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We bring before you all those who have died in the faith of Christ. We pray that they may find mercy in the day of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. And so, Father, we bring ourselves before you. We pray for all members of this church. We pray for our parishioners. We pray for those who live and work in this parish. Enable us by your spirit to live in love for you and for one another. Surrounded by all the prayers of the saints, we commend the whole human family into your loving care. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and we share his peace. May the peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Let us offer one another the sign of peace by waving to the screen. <laughs> The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Blessed are you, Lord God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. From the beginning you have created all things, and all your works echo the silent music of your praise. In the fullness of time, you made us in your image the crown of all creation. You gave us breath and speech, that with angels and archangels and with all the powers of heaven, we may find a voice to sing your praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. How wonderful the works of your hands, O Lord, as a mother tenderly guards her children. You embrace a people as your own. When they turn away and rebel, your love remains steadfast. From them you raise up Jesus, our Savior, born of Mary, to be the living bread, in whom all our hungers are satisfied. He offered his life for sinners, and with a love stronger than death, he opened wide his arms for us on the cross. On the night before he died, he came to supper with his friends. Taking bread, he gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take it. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Father, we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. We remember his dying and rising in glory. And we rejoice that he intercedes for us at your right hand. Pour out your Holy Spirit as we bring before you these gifts of your creation. May they be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy things in your presence, form us in the likeness of Christ and build us into a living temple to your glory. Bring us at last with the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints.
to the vision of that eternal splendor for which you have created us through Jesus Christ our Lord by whom with whom and in whom with all who stand before you in earth and heaven we worship you Father Almighty in songs of everlasting praise blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever Amen rejoicing in God's presence with us let us pray as our Savior taught us our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptations but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us peace. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. Friends, Holy Communion is ready. I'm going to take communion on behalf of all who are with us today. While I do that, there will be music being played in the background. Please use this time in reflective prayer. feeding us with the body and blood of your son Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. The blessing. May the peace of God which passeth all understanding keep your heart and mind in the knowledge of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you now and always. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. <laughs>